DV has come a very long way. In fact, when you started off with Alpha, there were so many features that were added, but there's also other areas that DV can improve to make it a complete page builder. So in this video, I wanna be talking about about seven or eight things that could be improved on DV to make it a complete page builder. So let me start off with uh, documentation. At the moment, there's no documentation for DV5. In fact, if you uh, head over to uh, the website here, yes, it says DV theme uh, documentation, but this is old stuff. This is not like the latest. Now I've seen a few videos here and there, but all these videos are pretty much DV4. So if you're new uh, to DV5, it's gonna be very difficult for you to know how some of these elements work. And I like the way it was integrated very well into the builder in DV4, but so far, of course, we don't have that. Now I'm not saying this as a negative because it takes time to put all this together and then at the same time, probably the team is also working on a lot of features. And sometimes if you create all these documentations, it's very difficult because the interface may change in the next, uh, say, couple of weeks or the next update. So this is the challenge that uh, DV5 uh, has because it is now complex. I mean, it's almost like... Um, I wouldn't say it's close to a Photoshop, but it's become very, very, very complicated. So... There's also other features like, for example, if I come over here to advanced and go to interactions, you'll notice that we have this brand new feature, uh, interactions, but even as someone that uses Divi on a very regular basis, I haven't really wrap my head around how this actually works and also all the use cases. The only thing I can think of is a pop-up and pretty much that's it. So there needs to be a lot of uh, tutorials from Elegant Themes that will show us you know, how far DV can go and also how to implement all these creative things onto the builder itself. Now, when it comes to the documentation, I'm not sure. I mean, on one hand, I'm thinking to myself, should I create the documentation? Of course, it's going to be a lot of work. Should I just continue and work on the DV5 mastery course? In fact, uh, a lot of people who are very excited about DV5 um, have purchased my course here. It's called the DV5 Mastery Course. Uh, so far, it has 44 lessons, and uh, I had a few lessons that I had created, but of course, before, uh, because the interface changed and a few updates were added, um, I had to scrap those videos and start all over again. So hopefully, this time around, we don't have a lot of uh, updates. But anyway, this course is $27, and once you purchase it, uh, upcoming lessons and modules uh, are not going to be charged extra. So once you purchase it for $27, that's it. You're stuck. You're in there. You're not going to be charged any extra for this mastery course. The idea with this mastery course is uh, to make it so uh, beneficial to anyone that wants to design websites using DV5. Because as you can imagine, DV5 has a brand new uh, interface and it takes quite a lot of uh, learning and um, how to use it properly. And of course, you also need a proper workflow. The next thing I want to talk about here is presets. Now, presets is something unique to Divi. And I really like uh, how presets work. In fact, if I go to this item here that I've just created, uh, you'll notice that if I go over to the design tab, how this thing has come about is because of all these presets that I've just created. So for example, let's say uh, I wanna change uh, the layout of this. I can just go in here and I can just say left. And now my image is on the right, you know, information is on the left. I can uh, also go in here, remove that and say, okay, I want this to the right. And then I can just come over here like that. So this in itself is something I created. In fact, I have a um, product called Crafter and this product makes it easy to work with Divi because, for example, all your headings are all uh, pre-designed for you. They're all based on clamp, which means that you don't need to worry about using uh, this, uh, the tab and also the, the phone uh, views because everything is fluid. And this is how websites are supposed to be designed. In fact, if you don't use fluid typography, uh, your websites are not going to pass accessibility, which is a big deal. So gone are the days where if you wanted to uh, make changes to your, to your uh, let's say, sizes, you'd come over here and manually go into the text and say, oh, okay, you know what? I want to go in and put, um, you know, 15 pixels. And no, you can't do that, okay? Clamp is the way forward, which brings me to the next um, step. I would, uh, I would have thought that Divi 
because CLAMP is obviously mandatory and your websites will not pass accessibility, I would have thought that they would have some sort of a workflow where they remove all these other values and just leave CLAMP on because that's the way forward. So that's also something else that I think, you know, difficult to implement. But anyway, I digress. So here, I mean, this design system has everything. You know, all your fonts here, the, the, the buttons, everything is pre-designed for you. All you need to do is to select what it is that you want to use. I mean, for example, I mean, I've just shown you here. If let's say, for example, you want to choose some colors, you can just come over here, go to your background, and all your background colors are all uh, decided for you. There we go. So now we have all our colors here. So you can go ahead and choose whatever color you want. So you don't have to go in and use the color picker to choose the color that you want to uh, to apply to your design. You know, pretty much everything is done for you. So this is the advantage of using this uh, design system. And by the way, I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. That's the only way you're going to have consistent looking websites. So the reason why these products are created is because Divi does not have an onboarding system that gives us a, a way or a proper structure of how to build these websites so for example we have the variable manager here but i can almost guarantee you that if you're brand new to divi and you go into the variable manager you won't know what does what and exactly what you need to do so that onboarding system is not available in fact uh, i'm contemplating putting together a a getting started um, video which goes into detail on how to get started with uh, DV5 because I can see a lot of people getting stuck. Okay, so here, uh, as I mentioned, this is running uh, Crafter design system. So if I were to go to the colors here, you can see all our colors are defined. They also use HSL. So you don't have to create colors on the go. Everything is done for you. Uh, over here on the numbers, you can see all our spacing numbers all based on clamp. Everything is all done for us. So basically, this just makes the the designing of websites with Divi much, much easier. But having said that, we still have a problem with these presets because let's say, for example, um, you can see all the presets that I've uh, added here to come up with this design. Uh, in fact, let's get rid of this, okay? Now you can see all these, pre uh, all these presets that I have here to come up with this design. Now, if I wanted to just export these presets, I can't because I have to export the whole page or pretty much everything that I have here, export it with all the presets. But you know what I would have loved to see is a way to, when you click on exports, maybe have a dedicated button here for just the presets, select the presets you want to export, and then export them. And then when importing, select the actual presets you want to import because right now we actually have a problem and I've had a few uh, people from, uh, from uh, Divi University that have been asking, okay, so now we have Crafter version 2.0. What do we do? Do we install it on top of 1.9? And that's a problem. Because if you install it on top of 1.9, you're going to have duplicate presets. And then currently on 1.9, it's not easy to just go in and delete all the presets. There's no one central place you can go in and just delete all the presets. You know, that option isn't there. And I think since this is something so unique to Divi and Divi 5, this needs to be polished. If this is going to be a workflow that's gonna make people design websites easier because if it's not this, then there's going to be a class system to maintain our consistency throughout our websites. So this is a big deal. The, the other thing I also wanna talk about is if you make a change to a preset you are done. There's no rollback. So if you make a mistake, that's it. Game over. And that in itself is a problem for DV5's current state. That needs to be improved for sure. And also the other thing is there needs to be some, uh, you know, something very clear. Maybe uh, add some uh, colors to these presets for presets that are inherited. Uh, presets that have been overridden and also um, local presets. I think that makes it visually easier to see what is happening. Okay, which preset was inherited, which preset was imported, you know? So if you want to get rid of it, it, it just should be easier because I can visually see what is happening. So I think this is something very, very important that Divi needs to improve on and uh, have just a central place where these presets can be uh, managed 
you know, exported, imported, you know, in a, in a very, very easy way. Because ideally, if you have these presets on, for example, this website, you want to be using it on multiple websites, which takes me to the next, uh, uh, the next uh, feature or the next uh, thing that Divi could do to improve uh, Divi 5, which is why not have a way that these presets are synced across the websites? Perhaps maybe using Divi, Divi Cloud or something. Because if you make changes to your presets on one website, you have to export them. Now, imagine you're a design agency or a freelancer, you have 20 websites. Will that really work? No. So syncing these presets, I, I guess, you know, I mean, they've come very far um, to, I mean, to get DV5 to this stage. I'm sure there will be other creative ways of uh, getting that syncing to work. And that could be really, really cool. Okay. Um, the next thing I want to talk about here is... Uh, how to package our designs. In fact, you know, Divi has a marketplace, which is very, very good. So for someone like me or other designers that want to earn extra money by creating, you know, ready-made uh, websites, Divi should have a way of packaging the existing website or the existing site you've just created and then sell it. So the person that has purchased it can just import it and boom, they're, you know, pretty much good to go. But now we have to uh, rely on other third-party options, which can be very, very, you know, uh, time-consuming to install, and you know, it comes with a lot of errors and so on. So I think this is something that is also important because sometimes freelancers want to, you know, package their websites which are ready to move, ready to go, and just export them and sell them as they are in the marketplace or even on their own websites. And currently, we don't have that with DV5. So. I think that's something that also needs to be done. Next, DV5 can really improve if there is white labeling. Now, right now, everything is DV5, DV5 everywhere, right? And this can be done, definitely. Uh, why not just uh, allow us to white label DV? So when our, when our clients want a website, we don't have to go ahead and explain what we, tools we've used, but just, you know, provide something that's complete and say right you know your website uh, needs to do a b c d e here we are here's your features now let's look at the results because our clients just want results okay more for the most part they don't care how the website was designed unless of course they are very technical so i think white labeling is very very important like i said you know db5 is very close to uh, a refinement i mean very close to releasing and these are just some refinements that i think you know divi could uh, apply to its page builder to really really make it work the next thing i want to talk about is integrations divi on its own is just a tool that builds websites but we know very well that just building websites is not enough when we approach clients out there clients want a res i mean a a result based solution so we use divi to create our websites but we want also want our websites to be able to be uh, easily turned into a a booking system or a lead generation uh, website easily. So I think Elegant Themes needs to do a very good job of talking to the most uh, popular plugins out there and integrate it easily into DV5. This, in my opinion, would take DV to the next level. I mean, there's tools like WP Fusion. I mean, imagine, you know, just a section, you use a tag to protect it. You know, this just makes the workflow and it makes DV into a superpower. Elementor has done a fantastic job of that. I mean, a lot of plugins out there, they work really well with Elementor. And I think DV, you know, needs to do that as well for people to really adopt it easily. Because right now, uh, to be designing with DV and then going into Gutenberg Editor for us to get the extra features doesn't really work well. You know, right now we have uh, Fluent Cart, which I think is going to be huge because it's a massive competitor to uh, Shortcut and WooCommerce. But at the moment, there's no integration. I mean, this is a huge opportunity for, uh, for uh, Elegant Themes to really be, you know, on top of things. Uh, right now, as we speak, I mean, these are just my opinions. I think Divi is very close to, uh, to being released. So there's going to be a lot of work uh, that needs to be done to really make it easy for people to, to see and uh, figure out how 
you know, people can start designing websites using Divi. So it's going to be a lot of uh, work from Elegant Themes in terms of the content team, because at the moment, there isn't a defined uh, workflow and the documentation is non-existent. But anyway, let me know what you think about the documentation. Should I go ahead and create this documentation? Uh, perhaps maybe it lives on uh, Divi University. Is it worth it? Is it something that I can really dedicate my weekends to? Let me know in the comments box below. Is it worth it or should I just go ahead and create it? Anyway, guys, uh, this is what I think about how Divi can improve for uh, 2026. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments box below as well. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.